What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can change our voice within Premiere. So, you may have seen a lot of times in investigative documentaries or in interviews that the person who's being interviewed, most of the times, their face is being blurred out or their voice is completely changed. And we can do all of that within Premiere very, very easily. So right now you can see that I've got this video track and this audio track here on my timeline and at this moment in time my face is completely visible and if I want to blur out my face I can either use different blur effects in Premiere or I can simply go in the effects tab and look for the mosaic effect which is over here and the video effects tab and then stylize and then this, there's this mosaic effect so I'm just going to drop, uh, drag this and drop it here on my video track. And now I'm just going to kind of first of all uh, turn the effect off because right now this effect has been applied to all of my clip and I mean my whole video has been completely blurred out. So I'm going to click on this FX icon to turn this effect off and we'll use this ellipse mask. And now I'm just going to first of all set this mask here on my face and we'll now click on this FX icon again to bring the effect back on my video. And now you can see that my face has been completely blurred out so no one will be able to kind of recognize that who is there in this video so let's just play this clip and see what it actually sounds like it comes to color grading or color correction premiere has got some really cool and very useful tools so right now you can see that my face has been blurred out totally but my voice is still very very clear and i mean if i'm kind of looking to conceal or hide my identity then I'm not really doing it right now. So what we'll have to do is we've got an effect in Premiere that is called pitch shifter and we will be using this effect to kind of change the pitch of my voice. So let's go into the effects tab and look for pitch shifter, which is over here in the audio effects, then time and pitch folder. And there it is the pitch shifter. So I'm just going to drag this and drop it here on my audio track and there it is you can see that the pitch shifter has already been applied on my audio track so the next thing we will do is we will click here on this edit button and now you can see that we've got this new window open here with a bunch of different effects over here now what i'm going to do next guys is i'm going to go through these presets one by one and we'll play this clip so you will listen to that how these presets are i mean how these presets actually sound when I play my clip. So let's go ahead and do that. It comes to color grading or color correction. Premiere has got some really cool and really useful. It comes to color grading or color correction. Premiere has got some really cool. It comes to color grading or color correction. Premiere has got some really cool. It comes to color grading or color correction. Premiere has got some really cool. So you've listened to these presets and how these actually sound and if you want to go ahead with any of these then I mean feel free to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these basically semitones and synths to basically change the pitch of my uh, voice. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the slider and drag it towards my left and set it here to add this negative 5. And we'll also use the synth slider and we'll drag it here and I will set the frequency at this point over here. So let's now play our clip once again and see how it sounds. When it comes to color grading or color correction, Premiere has got some really cool and very really useful tools. And now guys, you can listen that my now voice sounds completely different and I mean no one can kind of recognize that it's really my voice because it's very thick, it's very deep and that's how we kind of use these semitones and synths sliders to do that. So the other thing you can also do is if I just move the slider towards my right over here and use the synth slider towards right over here and play this clip you will see that it now has a completely different sort of an effect uh, it's a very funny effect that you can use if you are kind of i mean doing some sort of character uh, animation or if you want to use it I mean in terms of if you're doing something really funny or if you've got a cartoon or a character that you want to kind of give an effect to it so I mean you can definitely use this so let me just play this and you'll see how it sounds when it comes to color grading or color correction Premiere has got some really cool and very useful tools so now you can see that how it actually sounds it's very kind of I mean it's very funky sort of a sort of a voice so 
I am going to kind of go back to my thick and deep voice because that's what I think uh, is more suitable for this uh, tutorial. The other thing we can do guys is after we've kind of applied this effect we can also apply it um, we can also definitely apply some more effects to our audio track so if i now go in the effects tab over here and then in audio effects and if i now come in here and in the in the reverb folder and choose this convolution reverb from here and apply this on my audio track and now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click here in this convolution reverb add a tab and now i am going to select a preset from here which is back of the class and i'm going to select this uh, classroom i think it is absolutely fine and the next thing i'm going to do is go back in the effect step once again we'll look for mastering effect and we'll also apply this effect over here on my audio track and we'll go again in here in the edit button and see if i've got the right preset available over here which is absolutely fine i don't want to change change the preset or i don't want to change any of these settings over here so what mastering will do is is it will basically boost the frequency of my voice and then the convolution reverb will just add some reverb effect to the voice so let's play the clip once again and see how it actually sounds it comes to color grading or color correction premiere has got some really cool and very really useful tools and that is what we are going to go through in this section so so guys there's how easy it is to change your voice in premiere and i hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any questions anything you like to ask feel free to drop those in the comment section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible i'm now going to see you in the next one so till then you take care of yourself